Hey guys, if you want to find out how I got from the left to the right, keep on watching. And yes, I showed you two different lip colors to go with this look. Totally realized that I'm doing a witchy kind of look and my outfit is like the complete opposite. But anyway, I'm just applying a perfecting primer to my whole face and then a pretty much full coverage, pretty pale foundation because I'm going for a witchy look and I feel like witches are usually pale. Put it just blend it in with a beauty blender. Now I'm just applying a pretty pale concealer under my eyes, but it does match the foundation because I don't want to highlight too much for this look. But then I'm just blending it in with my fingers as pretty much usual. I filled my eyebrows in with a really, really dark pencil. I gave them pretty high arches and extended at the end a little bit. I just wanted some really dark, dramatic eyebrows for this. I don't know, that's just what I was feeling. And then I set them with this gimme brow that I did not know I had, but it's dark, pretty much dried out, but just set them in place a little bit. The reason I didn't highlight under my eyes is because I am going crazy with the contour, just my cheekbones, nose, and forehead. I just really wanted sunken in cheekbones because I feel like it's witchy, so I just started out with a cream contour. And then I'm just gonna go on my nose and forehead to like highlight a tiny bit because I put a little bit too much contour. And then setting the rest of my face with just a regular translucent powder after we've applied the cream products and then setting under my eyes with my normal powder. Just this part's fairly normal. This is where I'm going to start carving out my cheekbones. I'm using a taupe eyeshadow from Naked 2. It's not even a contour. I just want it to be really cool toned because I feel like it's more dramatic, and I was going for really a lot of drama, so I just chiseled it out to give me those killer cheekbones, blended it out, applied a little bit onto my nose and forehead, just to make it a little bit more Halloween-y and less regular dramatic makeup look, if you catch my drift, I guess. I was inspired by this e.l.f. beauty book that I found at Walgreens. It was really cheap, um, so I'm using that. I applied tape for a really crisp line. And I lost the footage where I applied the lid color and the rest of the base, but just the black base and a coppery kind of lid color from that palette. And then a really deep purple straight into my crease and blending that out as my transition color. And then black in the outer corner with this pencil brush and blending it out with the other side of that double ended brush. Whew, that was a mouthful. <laughs> And then uh, some super dramatic liner, and this keeping the tape on will help you get a really crisp line um, if you're using eyeliner. And I kind of messed it up a little bit, but it's alright. Removing the tape and you get that nice crisp line, and it really helps if you're a beginner with eyeliner. And then I'm taking this green and applying it to the lower lash line, and then taking some black on top of that and blending them both out. Just, you know, deepening it up a little bit closer to the lash line though with the black. I put on some black eyeliner all the way across my waterline and then I highlighted it with this the lightest shade in that palette on the inner corner and my brow bone. Just keeping it shimmery because why not? It's Halloween. Here I just kind of cleaned up the under part if there was any fallout or the line went down too far. I smudged it, anything like that. And then applying my mascara to the bottom lashes, curling my upper lashes, and applying my false lashes, which I did off camera because... You guys know I can't do it on camera. This is the finished eye look and I realized that the side I did on camera and the side I did off camera, their lower lash lines are kind of different. One was more green and one wasn't, but we make mistakes. You can kind of see it here. I'm sorry, but I'm not perfect. Don't judge me. I'm just going to put on a little bit of this cool tone blush, kind of taking it back to help blend the contour a little bit and then highlighting mixing these two colors together just to add a little bit of life to my face you know for the lips i was originally using this to line then i realized it, i couldn't get very precise with it and yeah i just ended up using a black pencil eyeliner to outline my lips and then kind of 
thicken the line a little bit and then I smudged it just so it would have a kind of ombre effect and darken the green that I'm about to apply. <laughs> Laughing at myself, but yeah, I just kind of smudged it with a Q-tip and put on this really pretty like emerald green lipstick. I thought this was cool to show you an option. Neither of them are really wearable lips, but I just really like how this looks and I feel like it was perfect for this look and then darken the line a little bit and blending the colors together. Sorry I'm talking so much in this video, I don't know why, but that's what that lip option looks like. I just got this and I thought it would be perfect, so I'm just applying that straight from the tube. And yeah, this look, you could, I mean, you could make it more dramatic, less dramatic. I thought it was like a more wearable, kind of witchy look without any special effects. Uh, but yeah, that's the finished look. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to see more. Let me know what Halloween videos you want to see next. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!